Hey, it's GD from Death Wears Bunny Slippers. It is December 24th, 2016. It's been raining quite a bit here. It's why you see all this water. You hear it all come in. This is a tour. We're going to take you on a tour. You guys have been waiting for this. This is the current state of where we're at. Um, now, by the time you see this, we probably will have a little bit more work done, but we wanted to kind of level set here so you see. So Sam, let's uh, come on in. Awesome. All right, so just real quick, this is kind of our tool room. Uh, this is the first you come in, but you see we just kind of have general supplies, um, tools kind of set in here. We've moved this around uh, a few times. We've moved it around just trying to clear things out. But this is, again, we have paint and such in here. And uh, over here, so Sam, I'll let you come around. So here's our power. Now this thing actually is gonna have to be on the wall of fame eventually at some point. I built this, um, it's interesting it's never been a video. I built this in 2011-ish. Uh, this was actually outside at one point, standing outside the access portal. But basically this is, you know, you bring in your, all your power here, a bunch of circuit breakers, and then one circuit breaker per outlet. One thing we messed up on early is when we, uh, I first put GFCI in there, which is, you know, so in the case there's water, it'll disconnect. But you actually don't want to do that when you have a missile silo because a lot of times it'll shut down almost uh, in, a, in a really bad time. One of the things that's interesting that, that we found is things don't, uh, like we've had electrical cords, this out in the rain, never ever once does it shock anything. It's kind of odd and uh, I don't know, interesting I suppose that it doesn't, electricity doesn't act maybe like I would have thought anyway. All right, we're gonna head this way. So this room, you guys have seen this room before. Nothing, a whole lot has changed here. Uh, but we, the only thing we store in here, we have some flooring. So this is a bad piece of flooring. But uh, yeah, here's a good one right here. So this floor, you're going to see if you haven't already, this goes into level three. Um, but we're also gonna use this right over here, which we're gonna get to in a minute. There's no reason to pan that way, it's dark, but we're gonna get there. All right, this way. All right, awesome. So as you probably have seen before, or maybe you haven't, this is the studio-ish area. And we cleared this out because we were doing a lot of work through here. Um, so but these are all our lights and this is kind of the set. Um, we're not gonna clean this room up anytime soon because it makes for a cool set. But let's look this way. So here's the tunnel. And you guys have seen the tunnel multiple times, but we wanted to point something out right here. So see if we can stay right there. Notice there's no floor. So there's no floor in place here. We cut it out. And we cut it out for a particular reason. You can't get, so if you look right here, Sam, just to, I don't know if you can see it. If you guys see right here, the floor went all the way on both sides of the tunnel. So with the floor in place, we couldn't clean it. So there was no way to clean underneath of this. And it had had you know, 30 years of water and mud and debris in it. So we didn't really have much of a choice but to cut it out. So we cut these out in the stairs that you see, both the stairs that we use to access all the way down in the access portal and the stairs level one, two, and three, we use these plates for those stair treads. So it was kind of a good recycling. We'll eventually do something different with this floor. We've always joked about a bowling alley. Maybe you, know, you get one lane out of it, uh, but you know we'll see, this is the tunnel. We're not gonna do anything with this uh, anytime soon. This is, we kind of work our way from the launch control center this way. So uh, open to suggestions. We've thought greenhouse, bowling alley. I've also thought maybe I'd make some couple extra bedrooms. So imagine a little walkway, you know, over here. And then you could actually fit some submarine style bedrooms down here. You okay with that, Sam? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's go this way. Oh, little trip. So now we're going into the short cable way. I know this is really dark, but I don't know what videos we've done yet, but I wanted to show this off anyway. Lights. 
Pretty cool, huh? These are all Philips Hue. They don't sponsor us, but you can. They don't sponsor us, but um, it's really cool. Watch this, emergency mode. Oops, wrong button, emergency mode. Pretty awesome, huh? It's completely useless, but it's really cool. All right, so we are going to go this way. So this right here, again, we may have done a, I probably didn't do a video on this. This is a bridge. So we had, we took out these floor panels also, but we cleaned and painted this. Uh, that was a job. But the problem was, is that this floor, the launch control center, remember, is on springs. And what had happened is it lifted up about 12 to 14 inches because of all the weight that came off. Well, the problem was if you walked on the normal tunnel floor, then you'd have a huge step up here at the end. So I built this out of some old I-beams that I actually stole from in here. So this bridge literally floats from there all the way to here, the entrance. And so what that does is even as this changes in height, uh, which it does a little bit, it swings a little bit when we're you know, having good fun in here, um, so this, this, uh, this works out pretty nicely. So one thing that we're doing here now is level two is going to be our workshop, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, I had some of my equipment outside. I know it's a little rusty. It looks horrible. I'm not proud of that. I'm going to clean that up. Uh, it's just surface rust because I protected it with some uh, other stuff. So, but we brought all of our tools down here. Uh, so we have, just for the coolness here, we have plasma cutter, metal band saw, saw stop. If you don't know what a saw stop is, it's a table saw, wood table saw. And if you are using it and you catch a finger in it, it'll stop almost instantly, which is super awesome. After seeing one of my friends uh, almost lose a finger in a table saw, I thought it'd be a good idea. So the other thing we have over here is a wood vertical band saw, which we're going to be using very, we're gonna be using all of this actually here in the next week and recording every piece of video. <clears throat> and then let's see, some Festool stuff. I bought this years ago uh, because I, in phases, tend to do quite a bit of woodwork. And then we just have some materials for what we're going to be doing upstairs. Our project we're going to be doing again uh, this week is uh, working on the bedroom upstairs. So let's go ahead and go up there and we'll talk about that. I know you guys said there's no handrails. But it's really nice, you can just grab right here. Let's hope Sam makes it all the way up and proves me right that you can go up here and get me safe. Again, nice and dark, but ooh, pretty. Hold on, let's do it one more time for the crowd. Okay, here we go. Ready. So, nice, a lot of nice light. If you remember way back when I told you guys, sorry for the echo, we're gonna fix that. It's not in the thing, it's, anyway. Remember I told you this is where the old stairs were? This is where the old stairs were, but we make these removable panels. And one thing we just built recently, I don't know if you can get this whole thing in the shot, uh, one thing that you can uh, get in, or that you can see, is we built this little swing crane. So we use that most recently we use that to get this big welder up here. Um, we have a lot of work to do on the floors, tightening up all the seams. So Sam, you're gonna not wanna be in the middle. Let's uh, swing around over here, because that echo. The echo in the middle of this thing is really, really bad. So here, come on, guys. if you can work your way over here. So Sam and I built this probably two years ago now. We just never finished it. Uh, what this is, is this is gonna hang in the middle of the dome. So we're going to put acoustic dampening on one on both sides, put a ring of lights on the top side so it kind of has an upglow, and fix this part, and then we're going to wrap it in fabric. And the reason we're doing all this is, again, especially in the middle, the echo is terrible. Terrible, terrible echo. It just all comes right back on you. Uh, this is, so we kind of have this out. It's actually something Sam and I are going to work on today. But this is going to be kind of a commode area, which is the only technical room we're going to build in the whole lunch control center. So it's going to be a commode, a wall. I'm going to actually not tell you guys what we're going to do with the wall yet because it's going to be super awesome. A uh, drawer, kind of some pantry style storage on the back. Cool countertop here, double vanity. Bedroom, bed, not bedroom. Bed is over here. 
again, the bed is going to be super unique, or it's actually going to float. Again, when you have steel floors made of 18 inch I beams, you can do some pretty cool things. So, we're actually going to have a bed with I beams, you won't see them, uh, where it floats out from the wall. Closet system, shower is over there. So, the shower area and tub area, point that way, will be over there. Can't really see anything, but that's where it's going to be. All right, down to level three. So nice talking without a, that echo. Okay, first, if you can look over here, this is where um, you guys should have seen a video by now. If not, it's gonna release this early. It's because I released this early. Stop kicking stuff. Uh, so this is where all the, the utilities come in. So this is one inch PEX, this is where the water comes in. Power is right here. And then we'll also have communications that come through one of these. One of these will probably be ventilation. Uh, one of them upstairs, uh, a couple of these are still clogged. I couldn't get them unclogged, so I'm just going to cap them. I really don't need a lot right now. Um, over here, movie theater. So I tend to not do things in the right order because most people think, oh, I want to live in this place, let's make a bathroom first. Not me. Me is get some Danley, you know, subs, some Danley speakers. Again, not sponsored, but I hope you will. Still need about four more subs. This is a lot of space to move air so again this is not just this room but it's a whole launch control center uh, so we probably need three two to four more which i'm really excited about but that's a ways down the road movie theater temporary projector setup so we like to watch movies i bought some of these uh couches off of craigslist just for a couple hundred bucks we actually had the kids birthday party here last year uh well technically this year april of this year so we had the kids' birthday party, and uh, super fun. We watched the uh, Star Wars Force Awakens down here. Uh, but under here, so we built this platform. And the reason we built this platform, the reason we built this platform, number one is we have 13 foot ceilings. So we have a lot of space here. But the septic system is under here. Don't worry about trying to get under there, Sam, because you can't see it, it's dark. Um, but the septic system is under here, and I never really wanted it seen. So I wanted a way to cover it, but it also provides a really neat dynamic here where you can have, we're going to have a bar across here. So this whole curve area is going to be kind of just a railing for safety, and then a bar top. And so imagine standing there watching movies or, you know, chatting with people. Nice seating down here, maybe even a, a double row of it. And then kitchen up there. All we really have in place is the appliances. Uh, so we'll actually go up there. That's probably really zoomed in. So again, you come here, up these nice curved stairs. This, by the way, will be all closed in. So this will be closed in so you can't just walk from here to here. In fact, we're thinking about completely wrapping and closing this in. That way, people are like, oh, I don't know where I'm going. This is kind of interesting. And then, bam, awesome place. Anyway, so here, come in, all refrigerator, all freezer, stove, vent hood. And so what we have left to build down here is countertops, all cabinets, in fact. Um, okay, well, I don't, yes, you can, I bet you're getting a water. Refrigerator works. One of the things we're also going to do is, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm in a, I think I've probably been in an eternal state of a midlife crisis my whole life, but I'm super into like clubs and music and such, which is why we did this really early. This thing kind of gets in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to split it and then put it in two sides. So like half a circle over there, half a circle over there. Projector will come up here because this is in the way. Plus it kind of, you know, my head is kind of close to it. So those are some of the changes we're going to make. Frame in the movie theater real nice. Um, anyway, am I, thinking, am I forgetting anything? The escape shaft? Okay. Well, we can show the escape shaft looks a little bit nicer than it used to. But we built it so this will still work. 
kind of dark in there, but it makes a cool sound when you close it. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, I guess that was a little too loud on the mic. Uh, anyway, we appreciate uh, you guys watching. This is kind of where we're at. Again, end of December 2016. A lot of work to do still, but it's getting there. So thank you again, subscribing, watching, telling your friends, posting it online, whatever you do is always awesome. Remember merchandise, everything we do. Again, thank you very much. Love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.